Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Woodstown. I'm Caleb Gerace, here with Dr. Mark, and this is the last episode of this school year. How are you, Dr. Mark? Doing well, Caleb. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. So this year we talked a lot about your 18 month plan and we kind of were, we went in depth through the different episodes. Tell us how far we've come as a district and how far we plan to be going. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot right now. Um, I think right now, where we looking at in terms of the 18 month plan, we're at the final first step of that six months, right? So we're at the end, right? Whereas we're cleaning up processes. Um, as we kind of get into the summertime, we're getting more into the processes, finalizing them, get more into the plans, um, and really just looking at it collectively, what are we doing well, uh, but also what, again, we continue to improve upon each time, I think is always important, right? And again, since last time we met, we went from more of the you know plans, processes to celebrate, but we kind of changed a little bit internally. We kind of talked about still the processes, still the plans, but then again, get to the next part. We're gonna talk about persist. How do we keep those good practices in place? you know, for this upcoming school year and subsequent school years, right? Because at, at the end of time, you know, people can be replaced. People in a sense of not necessarily by our choice, but just saying people may move on. So we got to look at it in terms of processes and creating those practices that make us a good sound school district. So looking back on it, we're going to look on some of the good things. What are some of the good things that came out of this year? Some of our accomplishments as a district? I think if we look across the board, I think we can look at each school as, you know, sense of accomplishment, right? Because right now, if we look at it, it's just even at our earliest grade levels, right? So our preschool building, William Roper, uh, Ms. Hildebrand is our principal there. Um, and right now, they are getting rated as a preschool program, right? So again, it's like going to a restaurant. You know, if you're going in, you're looking at Yelp reviews. Okay, where's this ra restaurant rank? Well, right now, the Grow NJ Kids ranks are school district, right? So right now our our preschool building got rated and right now we're waiting for that final rating to come out to see where we're rated in a sense. I know that's kind of redundant of sorts, yeah. but um, then if we even kind of move all the way up to the high school, right? This past school year, we started the Let's Talk Woodstown show. We also started a business academy. You know, this going into the summer, we, we plan for doing a media center refresh. So that's all different things, you know, from our earliest learners to our oldest learners. That's perfect. And on the, on the flip side of things, what are some areas of focus that you've kind of realized over the course of this year that you're going into next year ready to tackle? Yeah, I, I would say one of the things that we talked about in previous shows, we talked about the state of Woodstown, right? And we talked about the conversations that we had with community members and students, right? Because we think they're equally important as we kind of get our message across and also even the planning purposes. So one of the things I think we can continue to improve upon is really that, you know, goal two, goal three, um, external communication, internal communication, whereas, you know, going into next school year, okay, how do we get our message across on a more consistent basis, right? We're going to continue with Let's Talk Woodstown, obviously with the new host, um, but, you know, what we want to continue to do is continue to share our message out through our socials, but then also the local newspaper, but then again, having that form I thought was very beneficial. Like, again, if you were a part of one, and I think we need to continue to have that message get shared. I would have to agree. And we talked a lot about the external and internal communications. And I, do you still feel like going into next year, that's something that we're going to keep persistent at? Do you think it was working? Yeah, I, I think we, again, every time, I think we could always get better, right? So we really focused on four goals. Um, again, whole child achievement, external communication, internal communication, and then our facilities infrastructure. Um, that's all going to stay the same. Now, maybe how we do it is going to look a little different this upcoming school year. But again, I think we just need to continue to fine tune those because again, I don't think you could ever over communicate. I don't think you could, you know, but you could definitely under communicate, right? And, yeah. and if that gets gets conveyed, then it's not always a good thing. I agree. Um, so we're wrapping up our school year. It's the 2024 um, school year and you know, our seniors are graduating. Yeah. If there was one piece of advice that you could give to the seniors graduating this year, what would you tell them and why? Yeah, so it's funny, you usually like to date me on the show and you usually like to tell everyone how old I am or at least <laughs> conclude how old I am. So 25 years ago, I'm sitting in your seat, right? 25 years ago, I'm a senior in high school getting ready to graduate. And for me, uh, I was getting ready to transition to college, right? I was getting ready to go to Stockton University where I was you know, gonna be a student, but also I was gonna be an athlete. So I had an opportunity already to kind of contribute and get myself involved extracurricular just by proxy of being on a soccer team. So as, you know, as the seniors start graduating, what I would say is get involved. Whether you're going to a community college, you're going into a four-year institution, you're going to military trade, going to work for your family business, I would just say go and experience things, right? Make, make experiences, take chances, and have an opportunity to meet new people, I think is always a good thing. Why do you feel like those experiences are so important? I mean, I think the basis of anything and who you are is the relationships you build, right? Again, you know, you went through school for now 
13 years, right? You've had experiences with teachers, you had experience with other students, our classmates. So again, I think it's just opportunity to just to kind of find out who you are as a person and who are you gonna be for the next phase of your life, I think is important. Well, I thank you for being on Let's Talk Woodstown with me. This is a really great opportunity, I feel like, to convey what we're doing in the district to the community. So I really appreciate it. I won't be back next year, but I have my gratitude towards you. Correct. So thank Congratulations. You. Thank you for watching Let's Talk Woodstown. Keeping up with tradition, next year your host will be Emma Alcorn. Again, I'm Caleb Gerace, and have a good summer.